Here we have the uh, formulas for the foundation exam. Um, it's important that you remember these. So we've got the formula for polygons. Uh, remember polygons are any straight sided shape. So we need to remember that the exterior angle going round a polygon, so all of them they add up to 360. Uh, to calculating exterior angle, uh, the outside angle of a polygon, then we're going to do 360 divided by the number of sides and we then need to recognize that the exterior angle plus the interior angle both add up to 180 degrees. So if a question said uh, what's the uh, sum of the angles in a uh, octagon then the quickest way to do it would be to say well the exterior angle of an octagon is 360 divided by 8 which would be 45 and therefore the interior angle would be 180 take away the 45, 135 and there's eight of those interior angles, so we'd end up doing eight times 135 to get the answer for the sum of the interior angles. Area formulas, well, we need to remember the triangle is the base length times the perpendicular height, the angle uh, 90 degrees, and it's going to be base times perpendicular height divided by two. Uh, got to remember that area has square units. Look for that. Uh, parallelogram. Um, just a shifted over rectangle. So a rectangle is space times height, so parallelogram is space times height. Just got to remember that the height is measured at right angles. Um, for a circle, well, we all need to remember our circle song. Uh, pi r squared sounds like area to me, and we use that formula. It comes up quite a bit, so learn it well. Um, the perimeter, well, we remember that the perimeter of a shape is the length going around the outside of the shape added together and the special one is for the circle where we call the perimeter the circumference and like the song says pi r squared sounds like area to me and circumference I'll use pi d so we've got pi d there um, percentage some questions ask you to write one number as a percentage of another so you look for either a change in value if uh, there's been a change in price and divide by the original value and times 100 um, it can simply be like the classic 17 out of 14 of tests, so you'll write the fraction first and then times by 100 to get the percentage. We need to remember our formulas for uh, volume, um, the cuboid formula, um, the width times the length times the height, and the cylinder formula, uh, pi r squared h. I mean, both of these are prisms. Um, the prism formula is given in the uh, front of the exam paper, and the prism formula says to the area, so for the cylinder, a circle times the length and for a cylinder we call that the height. Um, scale factors, uh, we need to remember that a shape can be enlarged or reduced uh, from a small shape to a big shape and uh, the scale factor is simply the new length divided by the old length. So in this particular example we've got a new length of 6, we've got an old length of 2, share those we get the scale factor of 3. Remember for scale factors we don't put a multiply sign. Um, Pythagoras, well question uh, towards the end of the exam paper that looks like it either has a right angle triangle given to you directly or you can uh, make a right angle triangle from the picture given and it's asking you to find a missing length given two other lengths then it's going to be Pythagoras. Uh, it's important that Pythagoras, you know the a squared plus b squared equals c squared, is c has to be placed at the hypotenuse. That's really important. Don't try and change c anywhere else on the triangle. It has to be the longest side the one where the right angle points to. So these are all the formulas for the foundation exam. Uh, it's uh, important, copy this out, uh, rewrite it, copy it out, rewrite it until you can just write it without really thinking about it. And then when you get into the exam, the advice is um, fill in the formula sheet at the front of your exam with these and then get the exam started. Good luck.